learning to play the guitar, there are some songs you just have to learn. Wagon Wheel, Darius Rucker's version, is one of them. And it's fun and easy. Welcome back to Relax and Learn Guitar. I'm Kevin. This is Maggie May. She's trying to figure out if she can eat the pick. My wife Vicky's behind the camera. Hello. Let's get started with this great song lesson. So Wagon Wheel was actually co-written by Bob Dylan and done by the Old Medicine Crow, but Darius Rucker had a big, big hit with it. A ton of fun to play. We're going to work on the Darius Rucker version, which means capo on your second fret. So be sure you've got that capo on. That allows us to play some easy open chords. So the chords you'll need to know for this one are going to be a G, a D, an E minor, and a C. For a much more in-depth lesson on these four chords, plus four more, uh, the eight chords you should really learn how to play, Vicky will leave a link to a video in the comments below. So if you're a beginner guitar player, um, even if you're not, this is a great one to learn, but if you're a beginner, I'm going to recommend that you learn those chords first and do a very simple, just practice changing those chords. Actually, in that order, we can just do some down strums, one, two, three, four. Four. So just practice going G, D, E minor, and C. Just practice that over and over. Get that under your fingers first. Then we'll move on to the actual strum pattern. So for the strum pattern for this verse, or actually for this song, you can use it for the entire song, we're going to do a, uh, a bass down, up, down, up. Bass down, up, down, up, bass down, up, down, up. Now when I say bass, that is the bass or root note of each chord, which is going to change depending on the chord you're playing. So G is a six string root or bass. The D is a fourth string. The E minor, we go back to that sixth string. And the C is the fifth string. You can also just do a down, down, up, down, up. If you're really new, you can start there. But I really like the bass in this song to add some interest, and it also helps you kind of keep track of what chord you're on. So work your way to that. Bass down, up, down, up. When you're finished with this lesson, you can check out this video where we take those four chords and actually do a little variation, and you can change those chords just using two fingers. You want to say something, Maggie? Come on up. <laughs> Maggie May wants to remind you that you can do these four chords with just two fingers. So when you're done with this lesson, check that one out. It can be helpful, and it's another variation of a way to play this song. So the chord progression for this song is really easy to remember. It's in the same order of the chords we learned. So we have a G with one strum pattern, a D, one strum pattern, E minor, and C. Then it repeats with the G, the D. Then we go to the C for two patterns. That's actually the intro of the song. So that's the intro, there's a little instrumental part. Then it goes into the verse. Guess what? Verse, same as the intro. I dare you to not bob your head while you're playing this song. It's just one that really sticks. And I love this song for beginners. I uh, actually had uh, John, one of our members, reach out and tell us that he learned this song and plays it with his grandson and has a blast with it. Um, if you'd like to learn more about our full access membership, you can check the link out below. And as always here at Relax Learn Guitar, start out slow and work your way up. Learn it correctly first and quickly later. So it's totally fine to start like this. Yeah, 
actually start like this. Like we talked about. Then work up to the pattern. And then speed it up as you go. So let's put all this together. I'm going to, uh, you can grab your guitar. Time for you to relax and learn as well. Ready? Three, two, one. Such a fun one. Like I said, you just have to learn this song, and I guarantee folks are going to sing along when you start playing it. Um, it sounds more complicated than it is. Uh, give it a shot. It's going to sound good, and have fun with it. To learn three more classic rock songs on the guitar using actually these exact same chords, check out this lesson here. As always, Vicki, Maggie, and I thank you for your support and your views here on YouTube. Until next time, remember, you're never too old to learn. Mm -hmm.